God, again. Whoa! Some of these, some of these spots are randomly really washed out. All right, so I took the brand new 2022 um, straight to Holopaw right after a hurricane. So this is on a Saturday. The hurricane passed on a Thursday. Um, it's a lake out there, but Pioneer did pretty good. A couple small leaks of workout, but overall very satisfied. So we're going to Holopaw. It's a Saturday after the storm. The bad part of the weather was Thursday here. So there's been a few days for the water to go down and soak up and it doesn't look bad on the dirt road. So maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, it's pretty deep as soon as you get through the gate. What could possibly go wrong? Got the suspension set in the most ups, most setting. We've got rear axle locked, four wheel drive low. And these other guys have made it out here. I should be all right. Stands to reason. Ooh. We'll wash out there. <laughs> One thing that's really impressive is I'm in four wheel drive diff lock right now and it steers really easy. They must have beefed up the power of steering. I know I'm in, I'm on pack down sand, but there's no steering effort and freaking diff lock. So I came through all of this um, Wednesday morning and it was much worse than this. So I'm pretty confused how shallow it is. Thing you notice right away is how quiet this thing is. The intake is nice and quiet. I guess that helps with the long path. I don't hear a lot of engine noise like I do with the Talon, but the exhaust is quiet. Uh, there's no belt noise. Very premium. Came through here with the Lexus. It wasn't that bad. Easy day. Barely even got my feet wet. The new feature. So um, that creek, which runs below, alongside logging road, has overflowed and created a river going this way. It's not super deep, but it is interesting. That's haven't seen that in a long time. All right, so made it to Main Trail. It's more of a river right now. You see, it's flowing that way really fast. But far, I'm pretty impressed with the suspension. The ride quality is very decent. Um, I've been going low speed though, so I suspect that's going to change at high speed. But at low speed, with about 200 pounds in the bed, so here's the ride quality at a little bit higher speed. Really very decent. Much worse. This is exactly how it was before the storm. You could get a small truck past that pretty easily. So you can see right here, it is a little bit bouncy front to back. Short wheelbase, and it has stiff rear suspension for doing work, so that's kind of expected. All right, so now I got rid of the generators, we can actually have some fun. Time to go deep. Excellent torque. Alligator or something. Oh, big spider. Ugh. Yeah, you need four wheel drive a lot with these little tires. Let's try out high range for the first time. Two wheel drive, high range, manual mode. Oh, yeah. She's peppy. And diff lock. Everything seems to shift and work flawlessly so far. So it's doing this weird thing where the whole dash bounces. Um, it's usually when it's deep and it's pulling. I'll see if you can see it. I really don't like the feeling. It's like the whole dash. The Honda Submarine. The Honda Submarine. It's, oh no, almost lost the water bottle. Oh, I'll lose the other one. No, you stay in there. Oh, my Pelican floated up. It's okay. The bed's totally full of water. Snorkel's doing well. Don't freak out anybody. It's gonna be all right. These 27s will get us through here. Yeah, it's like, you see the dash bouncing? Really weird. 
All right, that was pretty deep. So you hear that noise? That tells me that water got into my snorkel. Now, unfortunately, this stupid thing does not really have, hear it? It's got that long flow path, so it's got some water in the snorkel pipe, but there's no way to drain it. What's the shallowest way through here? Can I remember? Maybe that wasn't the shallowest. Diff lock is working its ass off with these little tires to keep us moving forward. But even with the diff locked in, the steering and the turning is phenomenal. This side of the property is pretty deep. attempt to go down main trail even though it's flowing like crazy probably the first person to do this since the storm You can see the bottom out here. busy out here considering everything's flooded this hole up by the front is gonna get bad by the end of the day all right so we're gonna take a slightly different line than we took last time this could be stupid but there's that tree I don't want to run over again a little water on the hood no big deal definitely a smoother line